morning, Greg. This is the Dave Ross Show, early edition. Well, at least there's some good news for the unemployed. At least you have a lot of company. Latest Gallup poll says the actual unemployment rate, 19.9%. Nearly 20% of American workers either have no work or are working less than they used to. And people who work less spend less. 36% less than people who do work. That's why people aren't buying. If you're in your 50s, the prospect of going back to school doesn't quite have the appeal it used to, so you get discouraged. As a result, 60% in the survey don't think they'll find anything in the next month. So all that boils down to 30 million people actively looking for work, and 18 million of them feeling discouraged because of it. That's a lot of abilified prescriptions. And I mention all this because we argue and debate a lot about whose political philosophy is right. Whether we should just wait for the free market to create jobs, whether it would be socialism if the government went ahead and created more jobs. But when you have this many unemployed, discouraged people, pretty soon nobody's going to care about your philosophical discussions. 30 million people want a job. They're not going to care whether it's a capitalist or a socialist who hires them. They want to work. That's why even newly minted Senator Scott Brown, darling of the Tea Parties, voted to go ahead with the Senate jobs bill. There is nothing stopping risk-taking capitalists from taking the plunge, except maybe lack of customers. But that's what risk is about. The race is on. Who will create the most jobs? Private companies or the government? Actually, I think I put my money on the drug companies. This is Dave Ross, back at 9 with the Dave Ross Show on News Talk 97.3 Cairo FM.